The technology responsible for the first television signal was created in 1927 by Philo Farnsworth, who transmitted the first picture, a dollar sign, over the air. Shortly after, in 1932, Vladimir Zvorkian found a way of transforming an image into a series of electronic signals and transmitting those over the airways. The 1939 World Fair was the first public display of the television, and the popularity skyrocketed. By 1950, the television had 9% market penetration, while just 10 years later, over 87% of all American households owned a television. By 1980, 98% of households owned a television, making it one of the most potent marketing tools ever. Personal average viewing time for an American exceeds 4.5 hours, daily. Television as a technology has been driven by constant improvements and adjustments, which have changed not just what we watch, but also how and when we watch television. In the 1940s, television was limited to 525 lines of data. In the 1980s, Japanese companies pushed the quality of the television up to 1,100 lines, allowing for a much greater picture for those who were willing to pay for it. Higher quality televisions led to the concept of creating a higher quality signal. In 1996, the FCC allowed for television stations to start mirroring their channels and digital signal on a separate channel. While this idea was met with resistance by consumers who would rather not pay more, in the mid-2000s, all new televisions were produced with the ability to receive digital signals. While well, February 17, 2009 was the date that all TV signals were to be switched to digital, the House and Senate of the United States agreed to move the switch back to June 12, allowing more time for consumers to buy a converter box or adapt to a new TV. Despite its popularity in the past, television will need to change and adapt as new forms of entertainment and advertising evolve. Will the future of television be online content such as television, shows streaming at Hulu, ABC, NBC, or similar sites? According to CNN.com, it's an exciting time for couch potatoes and mouse potatoes alike because nobody knows exactly how big audiences will consume video entertainment in the not-too-distant future, whether it's on a mobile device, a laptop, a wall-mounted screen, or something that hasn't been invented yet. Or, could we try to augment our television viewing experience with more devices, such as DVRs and TiVo, in order to enhance the quality of our television watching experience? Will we create more attractive forms of current television programming, such as 3D television, where several years ago the latest television sets were hailed as HGTV ready, a handful of TV makers are now touting models that are 3D ready? The future of television will be left up to you, the viewer. You get a vote in deciding the future role of television by the format that you watch television in now and by the products that you buy.